white people built Western civilization. Nobody else came close. Other people did wonderful things, particularly the East Asians, but they did not build the kind of society that everyone wants to emulate. Western civilization is what everybody wants, whether they admit it or not. We built it, it's ours, and I believe that it will move forward in a meaningful way only if it is in the hands of the biological heirs of the people who built it. Other people might contribute to it here and there, and other people might recognize its glory and its goodness, but it's ours, and I think it belongs to our family and not anybody else's family, no matter how smart they are. Also, at the same time, uh, it, it seems clear to me that traditionally Europeans have had a kind of creativity, a sort of Faustian desire to go further. We are the people who first circumnavigated the globe, despite the fact that in the 15th century, the Chinese had built ocean going, ocean going vessels that were far more sophisticated than anything we had, but they decided, well, we like China the way it is. Well, they poked around on the African coast and they didn't like the look of Africans and they came home and said, okay, we're going to burn these ships. They just did not have this desire to go further, to climb higher, to get to the bottom of the oceans. They don't have that uh, burning desire. At the same time, I think uh, Asians don't have the kind of passion for freedom, for liberty that we at one time at least had. We are different people and we can respect them. We can admire their abilities and they respect us and admire our abilities, but I don't want to be replaced by them any more than I want to be replaced by Vietnamese or Indonesians. That makes a lot of sense. It's for me, hearing somebody who's lived abroad, like you said, you lived in Japan for 15 years. I can only imagine the perspective that you have on this. It's probably as clear as day to you. You're not one of them and you're, you are never going to be, and you never would no. have been no matter how long you stayed there, no matter how well you spoke Japanese or however much sushi you ate, you are not right. going to be a Japanese person. No, no. And I, I, I like to put the shoe on the other foot. When people talk about coming to the United States and, uh, you know, oh, they'll be just like us. I said, well, well hold on. Uh, can you imagine moving to Cambodia or uh, Saudi Arabia uh, and uh, you and your descendants uh, assimilating perfectly? Uh, or Iraq, or any country, any any foreign country, any country of a different race. Could you assimilate? And people think, well, gosh, you know, I think I'd have a mighty hard time. My grandchildren have a mighty hard time becoming Cambodian. Yeah. But Cambodians can be us with no trouble at all? No, no. If it doesn't work one way, how come it works the other way? Right. And that's another thing. You mentioned culture. This is a big one for me, because I've interacted with the lefties a lot. It's, again, mm -hmm. I started going on her debates and whatnot. And one thing I hear constantly from, from all around, I hear it all the time is what do you mean? White culture. <laughs> As if we, it doesn't exist. huh? Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> they say what we live in a multicultural society. Everything's multicultural. Now it's like, we, we all have the same values. We have different values. It's from different people. What can you even say? What are three aspects of white culture that are even worth preserving? They say. <laughs> Do they really? Oh, gosh, what boneheads they all are. <laughs> it, uh, I, I guess they've never heard of representative government or freedom of speech or rule of law or respect for women or they've never gone to the opera. They've never heard a symphony orchestra. They've never heard of Shakespeare. Uh, I mean, Coulomb's law, Boyle's law, science, the periodic table. Good grief. We built it all. And they, they don't see any of it. I mean, anybody with the IQ of a fried egg knows that all of that was built by Europeans. It's true. Oh it's, it's a breath of fresh air hearing that, just like that, you know, from somebody. Because they, they gaslight you. Like, you know, hey, what do white people even mean? Which people are even white anyway? Have you ever heard that one? <sighs> yeah, I heard that. I heard that from... Uh, Oh, what is his name? Uh, Farid Zakaria. Farid Zakaria. He's, uh, I guess he's on CNN. He's a TV talking head. Uh, he, he's, uh, he's giving me a hard time about it. He said, well, some people say I was white. You know, I'm, uh, said, look, 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 come on. If 
the CNN bosses start saying, mm, we got to be more, more diverse. Too many white people on camera. Uh, <laughs> are, are you going to be dusting off your resume and looking for a new job? No, no, not at all. It's people who look like me who are going to have to be looking someplace else for a job. No, it's, it's just nuts. And nobody ever says, says to black people, hmm, well, who's black? You know, we won't have a black graduation. And uh, is, is the dean of students going to say, well, no, you can't do that because you can't define who's black. Yeah, they burn <laughs> the school down. You know, it's, 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 only, it's only with with white people that people start dancing around. Oh, well, you know, how do you define white people? Are you really sure you're white? How white are you? Come on. Any black or Asian or Hispanic that they wouldn't dare dance around the subject that way. No, it's one of these suicidal double standards that white people fall for every time.